Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. My name is Trevor. Today I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully fix your air conditioning and if you have this problem on a 2014 Cadillac SRX. Now this is my mom's car so she has been having trouble where it would just randomly come on and randomly shut off and not work and so we think that we have it um, pinpointed to one of two things the blower motor or the resistor so we're actually replacing both of them and I'm gonna have two separate videos so this one may be for the other one check out the check out the other one if you need it anyhow I'm gonna roll that intro we're gonna dive in and I'll show you how to do it So for our parts, this is the blower motor, this is the new resistor, and we're going to be looking right down here. So far, all I've done is pop these little body pins out, and then there is one on the back that connects there, pull that out. And I took the light out, and I'm going to actually use this down here so that I can see. And we'll be looking up there. So let me get, get to that point. Alright, so so looking under here, there are three bolts we'll have to take out. One's here, and one here, and then one back here. They are a 7 32nd. Uh, not sure what it is in metric, but I think it's more of a metric size. However, the 7 32nd's got it done. So just like that, our blower motor will drop out when you take those out. So, you should unplug it first, which to do so we got to take this cover off. So there's a bolt there, and a bolt over here, looks like, looks like that's it. And then that'll get that out, so I'm going to do that real quick, <laughs> I should have done it first. Alright, so that freed the blow motor, we were able to just swing it out. Next. We're going to be putting it back in, but before that, I'm going to change out the resistor, which I'll show you in another vlog. Just so you guys know, there's actually two plugs on the resistor, and you just push in on both of them. There's a tab right there, you push on and pull it back, and it will release. Now, we might be able to access the top bolt a little easier. Alright, so our resistor's in. We're now ready to put the new blower motor in, so we're going to put that up first, leave this hanging, and then we'll put the three bolts back into here, and then the two on this cover after we plug it in. So, let's do that real fast. Alright, so now we've got those three back in, and we have the plug that we need to plug in right there now when you line this up you want to make sure that you line that up and get it clipped on that'll be a key part so it does go on a specific way and then we'll get our plug and hopefully hopefully here just like that that's plugged in and then we can set the cover back on how it was as well all right just kidding so you don't have to put this cover back on because it already has this one already has it and the plug is accessible from outside of that cover whereas the original one we had to take this off in order to get to the plug so we're gonna take this right here this little holder stick it in there and that is a job well done so now we're gonna turn the car on test out the new AC last but not least we will be putting this back in place so we'll take this light and pop it back in here how it was and then we'll get it all connected and we'll feel that AC real soon all right there we go that's all buttoned up down here looking nice and fresh and 
the air feels amazing so if you guys enjoyed this video if it helped you out smash that thumbs up don't forget to click the red subscribe button let's see what rye rye's got in his hands Ooh, is that a baby grasshopper that's a baby grasshopper so drop us some comments and we'll catch you in the next one have a blessed day god bless y'all don't ever give up god is here with you yeah you are a child nothing but love is true just got it fix of you keep your eyes on the prize that's life everlasting only through jesus christ